goes away. The things I plan to say. Oh, baby. All right, so I really like my little farm animal sign that I made. But once I hung up the sign, I decided I really wanted something a little bit extra to go above the sign. So what I did was print off this farm fresh and I'm gonna make a sign. So I'm just gonna use my little cutting tool to make sure I have it pretty straight. If I don't, it's not a deal breaker, but this just makes it a lot easier. is so awesome. It cuts vinyl and it even cuts paper. So you can get nice crisp fresh lines with this. So this is the sign that I'm going to make and I'm going to run out to my garage real quick and cut a piece of lumber that matches this. I'll be right back. So like I said I literally went out to my garage and cut a piece of wood and this is actually just a cheap cedar fence picket that I got at Home Depot. I like stuff like this because it's really affordable. So then I can take my adorable little farm fresh and I'll make sure I get it centered right. But now I'm going to paint this sign black. So then that way I can put this sign on top of it. And I kind of like it that it looks kind of weathered. I think that looks pretty cool. So now all I gotta do is paint this and I think I'm just gonna use some black acrylic paint and then we'll make a sign. You know, I thought I was going to do black, but I think I'm going to do this dark stain and we'll see how this looks. I can distress this a little bit. What kind of tools do I have that I could distress this with? Well, let's try these scissors because they obviously don't work very well. But they work pretty good for removing some of that wax, don't they? What if we drag a hammer across it? That definitely takes some of that wax off. That's kind of fun. So now I think I'm actually gonna use some of this chalk paint. This is that sheepskin color. I have no idea if this is gonna look good or not. I'm just playing around, but I do like that. I think that'll tie in the colors of my farm fresh a little bit because it's going to be kind of an off-white. That definitely gives it a rustic appearance. So now I have my farm fresh. I think that looks cool because those colors kind of tie into that brownish color of the farm fresh. All right, I like that. So now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to secure this sign in place on this piece of wood and then I just made a sign. Pretty fancy.
Okay, so there is my farm fresh sign. And all I have to do is let this dry and then we can go hang it up over top of the farm animal sign I made. This should be pretty interesting. And just like that, my farm fresh sign is all done and ready to go over top of the farm animal sign that I made. So let's go put that up and see how it looks. All right, so let me refresh your memory. This is the adorable little farmhouse sign. And now here is the sign on top of it. This is the farm fresh sign. Oh my gosh, you guys, this was so easy to make. Oh my goodness, I can't even tell you. It was so easy, but it just, this sign needed a little bit of something extra and I wasn't sure about writing words on it. So I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna make this sign and I think it turned out really nice. I'm really happy with it. And the overall presentation with both signs on the wall in my dining room makes me super happy. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other DIY projects and different tips and tricks helping you to make some really fun and original decor for your home. I'll see you next time.